Section 8.3 focuses on testing a claim about a proportion. And remember, sometimes we say proportion, sometimes it's just portion, and sometimes it's percent, but they're all the same thing. So after we found H0 and H1, we always want to find a test statistic. And when we're finding a test statistic for a proportion, we have the formula Z equals P hat minus P divided by the square root of P times Q divided by N. So the entire denominator in this case is just one giant square root. Now the first thing that you'll notice in the formula is you have P hat, and sometimes P hat is given to you, and sometimes you have to find P hat. Don't forget that when finding P hat, that you're calculating the smaller number divided by the bigger number. Sometimes people kind of flip-flop which P is, I'm um, sorry, X and N, but that should always help you. And don't forget that P hat is the sample percent proportion or portion, same thing. The other piece of the formula that won't necessarily be given to you is Q, and the formula for Q is one minus P. And notice here that the formula uses Q, not Q hat, like a confidence interval. This formula might look similar to the confidence interval formula, which has a square root, but it's the square root of P hat times Q hat divided by N for a confidence interval. But a hypothesis test does not use sample data. It uses population values that are being tested. Also, don't forget that we need to use at least five digits past the decimal when calculating P hat in the event that it's a non-ending decimal and this is to prevent round off error. And as always, we're gonna use the Z table for finding both critical values and P values. Um, your hint that you're using the Z table is that the test statistic is Z equals.